Hi everyone, my name is Catherine and I want to show you how to make scratch art papers today. Uh, the first thing that you will need is a paper that is not absorbent. I picked up these metallic papers made by Jot at the dollar store the other day and they come in all sorts of different colors um, and they are sealed. Uh, so the a black acrylic paint is not going to soak into them, but when it dries it will sit on the top so it'll be able to scratch off. You can make papers like that by coloring on it with oil pastels or crayons. And if you do that, um, it'll not only seal the paper, but you can also combine different colors so that you can get like a rainbow effect or um, a gradient effect if you want to on the page itself. I am going to be using these metallic uh, papers at least today um, because, well, because I like it showing through the back metallic and I have a bunch of different colors so I don't see why I shouldn't use them. Aside from that, you will want to have some black acrylic paint. You will want something to mix paint in, something to spread paint with. And then a pretty important thing that you'll want to have is liquid soap. I've got some liquid soap here that I'm going to be using. The reason why you want to mix the paint with a liquid soap is because Acrylic paint itself is elastic. It will stretch before it breaks. So when you're scraping it off, it'll stretch stretch off pieces around it. But the soap will take that elasticity out of the paint so that it scrapes away cleanly. You don't have to use the soap and it will still work. It just won't be as defined if you don't mix the soap into your paint. So the first thing that I want to do, let's see here. I've considered taping my paper down because this paper does tend to curl. So I've considered taping it down and then that would give me a nice border around the edges, but I don't think I will. Well, I think I'm just going to work with it as it is. I've decided on a silver page for the first paper that I use and I'm just going to pull my paint out, squeeze a good amount into this cup. There we go. This paint is actually hardened up in the tube a little bit, which is all right, but I don't want to use the hardened paint. It's just a little bit of a waste, which is too bad. But ah, here we go. So I'm just going to grab a paper towel and pull the hardened paint out. There we are. And now I'm back to clean paint again. There we go. A good amount because I intend to be making a couple of pages today. Um, that way I only have to do it once in a while. I can do a couple of pages and then have those pages around for when I want to do scratch art. So I've got the paint and now some soap. And there's not a specific measurement on that, just some. Like soap until, until it feels right. And then take and mix that together. Another advantage of adding the soap, other than of course it's breaking the elasticity in the paint so that it doesn't stretch and tear when you're scratching it off of the paper is that it adds more volume to it. Now it does increase the opacity so you don't want to use too much because you'll be able to see through the paint then but it does add volume so it means that it will go further. Go take and set that aside. already got paint all over my hands and then just with your sponge brush or whatever kind of brush you prefer it doesn't have to be a sponge brush take and spread 
the paint on. We'll spread it on in a thin layer and allow that thin layer to dry and then come back and put on a second coat. Um, you can do more coats than that. You can stop at one if you feel like you've got a good amount of coverage. I usually like to do two coats. Three gets a little thick and hard to scrape off, uh, but two usually gives me enough opacity that you can't see through it anymore. And enough thickness that it scrapes well. Go. And then just spread it all the way across the paper. And you don't have to be pretty about it, but if you do your strokes in one direction for the first layer and then in the other direction for the second layer, you will get better coverage because you don't want it to be too thick but you also conversely don't want it to be too thin and it may take a little bit of practice to get it right it's not too difficult but you may want to have a little bit of practice with it go just Spread it all the way across the paper and to the edges and there we are. All right, so you can tell I've still got some stroke marks in this, but that is pretty good for a first layer. So I'm going to set it aside and wait for it to dry and then once it's dried I'll put on a second layer brushing the paint in the opposite direction and that's all it takes to make scratch art paper I will be doing more scratch art pieces with that paper so stick around uh, go ahead and like this video if you liked how I did and um, subscribe so that you can see what I do with that paper that we just made. I will see you guys later. Bye.